Hey everyone, Ardred Shadow here, and welcome to The Dark Side of Red Riding Hood, another one of the Sharon RPG Maker Horror games. Did I say that right? Well, it's an RPG Maker game, and it's a horror game. I always get that mixed up, but anyways... Yeah, so I guess why don't we just go ahead and get this started. As always, this game contains violent and grotesque depictions. And hopefully this does resemble fiction, if I'm remembering the fairy tale Little Red Riding Hood right. Little Red Riding Hood, listen well. Grandmother has fallen ill. Go visit her. But be careful of the wolf. Do not stray from the road. Yes, mother. Okay, well, once upon a time, there lived a little girl with an adorable red hood and great flaming eyebrows, who was beloved by all. One day, she went to go visit her grandmother, who lived in the woods, bringing to her a picnic basket full of confectionery treats. Or beef jerky. Well, anyways, yes, yeah, so. At least I'm hoping most people who are watching this are familiar with Little Red Riding Hood. And it's the bunny. Well, I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Yes, I finally got that right. Care to save? No. Okay. Um, although... Well, I mean, I already know this game, but... At least... Well, then again, I guess this could be helpful for what we have to do. Alright, so... Yeah, the music is gone, and... We have some branching paths. But Mother Dearest said, do not stray from the road. So I am not going to stray from the road. So screw you! You can't tempt me, you foul temptress. Unless you had something over there to specifically tempt me. Anyone else hearing that sound? And is it just me, or is it getting darker? Oh no, it's getting darker. Well, screw you! Path number... four, five... I think that was four. Man, how long have we been walking? And it is night time. Alright, what do we got? Hooray, we made it! Although... First let me just check. She is silent. Because there is no need to speak. Uh, let's see... Items, we got nothing. Not even the picnic basket full of confectionery treats. Equipment. Oh, oops, my bad. Uh, let's see. Weapon, none. Shield, none. Okay. 
received from her mother. Oh, here's the picnic basket. And yeah, I know I'm pronouncing it silly. Like Yogi Bear. Hey, little girl. That is a mighty fine picnic basket you have there. I bet you have a lot of delicious sandwiches and confectionery treats in there. Okay, well... Hmm. Okay, and... My face is so dark. Hello, grandmother. Oh, Little Red Riding Hood. You've come all this way to see me. I am so happy. So happy. And... That's it. That's the story. <laughs> Bad end. Good girl. You know this is a Sharon game. And we can't have boring crap like this happen. No, we want to see some blood and death and bad stuff happening. So, let's get out of here. Okay, well, I guess the so-called useless saving point I made is actually going to come in handy. Okay, well, thank you, Bunny. Alright, so let's go ahead and make some mistakes here. Oh, look, some pretty flowers. I wonder if there's more. Okay, what do we got here? Well, not really a whole lot of anything. I'm a rebel. I don't play by the rules. I make my own. Okay, well... Yeah, I... It's like, well, so far there's nothing. What do you know? I was right. There were more flowers. Oops. Some pretty flowers are growing here. I got some yellow flowers. And I don't know, but something about staring into her eyes and just her face overall just makes me a little uneasy. Probably just because this game makes me feel just a teeny bit uneasy. Okay, now I definitely hear something. Come on, Little Red Riding Hood, hurry up. Faster. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast, fast, faster, faster, faster. Hurry up before the wolf eats us. Okay, here we are. I think. Oh god. 
this sound freaked me out in Makoto Mobius, and it still freaks me out now. Or whatever, whichever game that was. Hello? Anyone home? What have we here? Oh. Well, that escalated quickly. Hey, Little Red Riding Hood, are you sure she's dead? Like, how many times did she do that? Little Red Riding Hood, listen well. Grandmother has fallen ill. Go visit her. But be careful of the wolf, which I haven't seen at all yet. I do not stray from the road. Um, I make no promises about that. Inside the basket are a wine bottle and an axe. There are no confectionery treats. Now hurry up and take out that old hag. Jeez. Man. True end. One. Mother's bloodlust. And how bloody lusty she is. Alright, let's go ahead and... Keep on going. So the first true ending... We had Mother's Bloodlust. What will the second true ending give us? Well, to be honest, I only remember parts of this game. One part in which has me a little concerned about how I'm gonna do with the video. Alright, so... Well, so far this looks almost identical to the last path. If not entirely identical. Will there be any pretty flowers? Nope, so far not. There's some trees and rocks and stuff. Huh. Okay, actually... <laughs> There's a lake! But apparently Little Red Riding Hood doesn't know how to swim, and... Um... Oh god, here we go again. It's like, yeah, I was about to say, this isn't the way I came through. In fact, this is totally not the way I came through. Hmm, what is this? Is this like the Lost Woods or something? Can we at least have some more cheerful music like the Lost Woods? Oh boy. How long have I been walking around here? I don't need to walk around in circles, walk around in circles, walk around in circles, walk around and... Don't need 
two, walk around in circles, walk around in circles, walk around in... You know, it's like, that's how I stop myself from getting scared, I just sing random obscure 90s songs that most of my viewers probably don't even know. So that way I sound like a crazy loon. Oh, I was about to say, why isn't it going? Little Red Riding Hood kept walking. Even after the sun had set, she was still going. She had become lost. So this is the Lost Woods. So does that, nah, does that mean we're gonna become a stall child? Eventually, the hungry Little Red Riding Hood looked inside her basket to hopefully find some confectionery treats. But there was no food to be found within. It was empty and cold, like her mother's heart. The only things inside were a bunch of rocks. So what, are you telling me you want me to eat the rocks? Okay, well... No one had ever seen Little Red Riding Hood again after that. Jeez, couldn't you have just put her up for adoption or something if you didn't want her around? Or give her to the Great Deco Tree? I and mean, look how well that worked out for Link. Well... Mostly. You know, ignoring having to save Hyrule and becoming a walking skeleton man after he died. Okay. So. Ending one, our mother was a psychopath. Ending two, we got lost forever in the Lost Woods. Let's hope ending three is... No. <laughs> What am I saying? Ending, ending 3 isn't going to be any better. <laughs> Alright, so... At least I'm hoping I counted that right. Okay, here we are in another very similar looking area. That's gonna make it so confusing for me. Since it's like, they all look the same. They all have the same trees and rocks and all that other stuff. So, how is it going for you all on this lovely day? And Who are you? There's an axe here. Who could it belong to? I don't know. Could it belong to this mysterious stranger here? Hey, mysterious stranger, is this your axe? Good afternoon, Little Red Riding Hood. Oh my god, he knows my name! Stranger danger, stranger danger. Okay, well... I'm a hunter. I consider the area around here my territory. Well, if you don't mind, just tell me where to go and I'll leave your territory. Oh? Where are you going with that wine in your basket? Um... I'm going to go rebel against my mom. I don't know. No. My poor grandmama is sick. Ah, a visit to your grandmother. What a brave girl you are, going all by yourself. Yeah, well... I don't know, I guess child endangerment isn't a thing here. And just where is your grandmother's house? Um, in the opposite direction of where I'm walking. Just head over there and... I'll head over here. In the forest, you see. I see. 
Thank you. Little Red Riding Hood, you've come all the way out here. Why not wander around for a bit and enjoy the scenery? Uh, no thanks, I've already enjoyed enough scenery for one day. Especially considering in another timeline I got lost forever. Oh, but be careful. A wolf lives in the forest. Er, oops. Oh, but remember, a wolf lives in the forest. So be careful. Be careful. Remember, where there's smoke, they pinch back. No. I know it's where there's smoke, there's fire. I just have so many old YouTube poops on my mind right now. Oh god, oh god, this is even more scary. Uh, oh my god, I'm legit scared. Faster, faster, faster! Seriously, faster! Move faster, Pokey! Faster! Faster! For the love of God, faster! Uh, no, 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 where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh my god, I'm just... <laughs> okay. Please make it stop. I said please make it stop. Why isn't it stopping? Oh, um... Grandmama, your face is looking a lot redder than usual. Did you spill some tomato sauce? She's dead, huh? Yeah... How do you... How'd you figure that happened? Pity. I guess the wolf got her. The wolf just waltzed right in here, opened the door, and just shot her with a shotgun. What an intelligent creature. Stupid, but clever. What? You think I did it? You see, Red Riding Hood, this is why you should have told him... ...some... ...some crazy lie, that way he wouldn't come here. And yeah, I'm pretty damn sure you did it. What a cheeky little girl you are. Don't look at me like that. I'll look at you however I damn well please. Ah, yes. You still don't know what it is I hunt, do you? I forgot to tell you. Are you like Umarak the Hunter? Do you hunt rare exotic creatures? I hunt... little brats like you. Okay, so... If you don't want to die, you better keep quiet. Or else you'll end up like the old bag on the floor. Give it up. You can't win against me with those puny little legs. There's nowhere for you to run. What if we just make him follow us into the lost woods? Well then, he'll be lost and then we'll be lost. Okay, bad idea. You're still trying to fight back. You little shit. Okay, yes. Yeah, this is the part I was... I kind of didn't want to see. Oh, man. I'm going to tell you one last time. Did you have to do this to her? If you don't want to die, you better start doing what I tell you. But I don't want to. From now on, you're going to be my slave. Got it? I don't even want to ask what kind of slave you want me to be. <laughs> Is that you, Bowser? <laughs> Oh, 
wolf man. So the wolf is just a wolf wearing man's clothing. Okay, well... Yeah, except unlike Bowser, he's not gonna be comedically easy to finish off. Okay, well... Yeah, that one had my heart pounding. And giving me the Doki Dokis. Although, to be fair, at least... He didn't... scar me for life like... the original Doki Doki. Well, Literature Club, not Panic. I'm sure Doki Doki Panic wouldn't have been as scary. But, oh man, well... And because I know Mally Bass, Hero, and Asman put the video up on here without any problem, but... Well, I don't know about me. But I'm sure by the time this video goes up, I'll figure something out. Okay, Bob. Tell us what's behind door number four. Okay, well... Oops. No, don't run into the wall. I mean... What would you consider this? It's not a wall. Okay, well, at least there's no lake. To make me question my sanity. And no Shadow Man. But we do have this creepy ass sound again that makes me scared for my life. Oh boy. Well, I guess I'd rather have this than the other one. Okay. I literally just gotta chill down my spine. And of course, we all know I get scared too easy anyway, so... Okay. So tell us what's behind door number four. Please make it stop. For the love of God, make it stop. Oh, a little Red Riding Hood. You've come all this way to see me. Uh... Yes, of course! I wonder, should I try doing... Oh, little Red Riding Hood. You've come all this way to see me. Yes, Grandma Palpatine. I am so happy. Oh? What is that? My ears are rather big. My grandmama, what big ears you have. Oh, the better to hear your cute little voice with, my dear. My grandmama, what big eyes you have. What? My eyes are quite large. The size of dinner plates, you say? The better to see your cute little self with, my dear. And no need to be afraid. You say that, and yet I'm scared for my life right now. What now? My hands are big. Yes, you have big giant man hands. Like Impa from the Zelda CDI games. Yes, I wouldn't be able to hug you without these big hands. Do you really need big hands to hug me with? You're still going? My mouth is big. Well, that's because I have a big appetite. Okay. 
You see, my dear. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The better to eat you with. How's that for nightmare fuel? Okay, well, at least it's over. Sort of. Ah, uh, this little red riding hood sure has some tasty meat. <laughs> the last one didn't taste very good. Maybe she was expired. so considerate of her mother. I can't wait to see what kind of little red riding hood she'll send next. You say that as if little red riding hoods are mass produced in factories or something. <laughs> oh god. And true ending four. Cannibal. I don't know what's scarier, her laugh or my imitation Palpatine laugh. <laughs> At last the Jedi are no more. Now you will feel the full power of the dark side of the Force. Okay, well in this case... True power of the dark side of the force is going to be whatever the heck ending five is. <laughs> okay, so let's review what have we learned so far. Mom is a crazy maniac with bloodlust. Never go into the lost woods by yourself because you'll turn into a Stalfos. There's a crazy hunter person who does very questionable things that I don't like. And sometimes mother is more considerate of her own mother and sends little girls off to her death. Or their deaths. Okay, well... Surely this can't get any worse, can it? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know about that. Ah, it's like, no, I want to get out of here. <laughs> well, in reality, yes, I do, but... Don't worry, Pops. We're almost to your room. Well, are we there yet? Can I look at the ducks? Dang it, little red riding hood, can why can't you swim? Well, I guess that's not important now. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. It. It's raining outside. Yeah, so this is new. But rain doesn't always mean good things, though, does it? And night falls once more. For the last time. Anybody home? Grandmama? Wolfie? Oh, jeez, okay. Who is that? Hey there. Okay. 
Okay, no, let's not go there. Hey there. Are you... Little Red Riding Hood? Uh... No! I'm... Cinderella! Or, no, I'm Goldilocks. You poor girl. You have no idea what's about to happen to you. Is it going to be any worse than when not Omarak the Hunter came and did questionable things that I don't like? You've been thrown away, kid. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> okay. I can't do the happy mass salesman laugh. I paid your mother quite a bit of money. No lie. It was a legitimate transaction. And then show me the receipts. I want to see this for myself. And now... I'll take you to work as my slave for the rest of your life. Okay, well, you see, the last guy wanted me as his, as his slave, and now you want me as your slave, and... Well, at least his intentions are a little more clear. From now on, you're going to be doing work so harsh, so painful, that you'd rather be dead. Yeah, that's probably the face I'd be making about now. And I'd be trying to fight the tears of horror and shock and... Yes. Up until you draw your last breath. Don't worry. The rain will hide your tears. And that's true and five. Human trafficking. Okay, well... That's it for this game. It's a shorter one. Although I don't think it's the shortest Sharon game. Anyways, well... It's definitely a very interesting take on the actual Little Red Riding Hood story. Well, technically, we have, like, five different takes. Six if you include the bad end, where absolutely nothing happens. And yeah, it's like... <laughs> at least two of those literally had me, like, on the edge of my seat in full-on... Like jump scare mode. But anyways, so that's it for the dark side of Red Riding Hood. So thank you all for watching. If you've stuck by me this long, and I will see you guys next time for whatever I do. Later, folks.